Okay. Hello there, lads, lovelies, and everyone in between. Hope you guys had a great Christmas, and I hope you're going to have an amazing New Year. Yeah. I won't. I'm fucking working. But, hey, that's the shits. And guess what? They're paying me uh, stat holiday pay, so that ain't so fucking bad, is it? Not that bad at all. Yeah. Honestly, it's really not that terrible. Well, actually it is, because where I live, it's well below minus 40 right now. Actually, right now it's not that bad, but when I'm working on the weekend, then it's going to be minus 40 all fucking night long. Really not looking forward to it. Kind of any of the dead, going to be honest with you. But hey, whatever, that's why I make the big bucks. Or if I did, that would be why. Yeah, anyway. But I hope everyone had a good time on Christmas. Got the stuff they wanted. That's always good. Or at least got to spend time with your loved ones. Actually, I didn't get to do that either. You know, with all the shit that's happening now. Yeah, what do you do? But hey, just about next year. As I'm recording this, it's the 31st. So... So, that'll be the fucking end of 2021. Not a very good year, honestly. Still, could have been a lot worse. Yeah. And next year's going to be awesome, though, actually. For VR, it certainly is. I don't know about everything else. There's always room for stuff to get fucked. But I have a feeling next year's going to be a good year for, for VR and for gamers in general. Yeah. I'm looking forward to it. I'm not going into the next year all shitty and depressed. This year sucked. But hey, next year's a new fucking year. All sorts of shit's going to happen. There's going to be tons of stuff in VR to look forward to. It's going to be amazing. It's going to be a great year. I'm really looking forward to it. It's going to be good. We're going to have a lot of fun, you lads, you lovelies, and all those in between. It's going to be a good time. I can't wait. Yeah. No negativity from me about this shit. Not at all. So, yeah, I haven't actually produced any videos in just like a little while. It hasn't been a long time, I guess. But, yeah, there's a couple of things I have to do, though. I really got to do them. I have to actually do an update on the VR wire review. Because guess what? I actually got that shit working. I did get something a little bit wrong. And now I got it working. And I'm using the VR wire, VR wire 2 as Lords of Leisure intended. And it's actually pretty awesome. I'll give you a spoiler, it's still not as good as not having wires, but nothing's as fucking good as not having wires, right? But this is pretty close. It's not bad. Yeah, it isn't bad. And with the, uh, the fiber optic cable on the Pimax, which is the least offensive cable you can pretty much get, it's actually pretty good. It's actually pretty good. And you get that true room scale. I, I gotta talk about that shit later. I'll go into the details of it. Yeah, so what else was I saying? Oh yeah, there's been some pretty cool updates coming out. Yeah, uh, let's say the first thing is Legendary Tales has a big update. What's in beta right now, it doesn't really matter. I mean, it's an early access game, it's kind of always in beta. Legendary Tales guys finally think they got their stat update done. It's in beta now, as I've said. But hopefully, that means uh, they're going to start adding actual fucking content that I really want to fucking see. I don't really care that much about the stats. I'm glad they got it done. But Jesus, guys, that took so fucking long. You got to add more monsters and shit to that game. And they say it's coming. It's coming. Calm down. Okay, cool. I w so I'm not actually going to update any or re-review Legendary Tales until I've got something more substantial than the stats to talk about. Because it's just nothing that's really visually interesting. And it's probably not going to come up in a regular gameplay video. Like I have to sort of play the game for a while. For that sort of stuff to become relevant. And then I can talk about it. Which I just haven't had the time to do yet. Everslot. Oh that's a fucking cool game guys. And listen. Huge update. New monsters. New shit. A new fucking cool gauntlet shooting thing. It's like a Gatling gun or some rad shit. Oh, that's going to be fucking cool. And then the app has got some, not real physics, but some sort of weapon collision stuff going on. And then blunt weapons like Warhammers and shit. It looks really cool. I'm definitely going to be re 
reviewing that game. That's going to be badass. Actually, I'm really looking forward to that shit. And so I swear there's other stuff I was going to talk about too. Well, I don't remember what. I never really remember anything, the truth be told. Well, whatever. What's the difference? Yeah, the videos will come out when they come out, right? That's how it fucking works. So, yeah, that's going to be sweet. I'm looking forward to that for sure. Uh, you know what, actually, I finally picked up. This is going to seem weird as shit to you guys. I actually bought Thriller the Fight. So I should probably actually do a little review of that. That game's old as hell. I know that. The graphics are pretty blah. But that doesn't matter that much necessarily, right? So I'm going to review that shit. Yeah. Let's see if, uh, see if old James James still remembers how to throw a punch, huh? I kind of do, actually. But can I do it for more than two minutes before I collapse from exhaustion? That's a much more dubious question, if I'm being honest with you. Yeah. Yeah. This is the year where I plan to work on myself a lot. So, you know, hopefully by the end of the year, I'll be able to play more than a few minutes without dying. That'd be pretty awesome. <laughs> yeah, I'm a little too self-aware sometimes. What do you do about it? Anyway, guys, yeah, I've been uh, so busy with work. And then, honestly, I've been feeling under the weather for the last couple of days. Just tired all the time, you know. Just not feeling too good. Maybe I have a little bit of a cold or something. Yeah, maybe. That's not been good. It's been really hard to get the energy to do anything with VR when you're not feeling that great. Kind of the bitch with it. Because you can always kind of just play some shitty pancake game or something when you're not feeling good. Because all you got to do is like wiggle your wrist a bit. VR, you got to jump up and do stuff. And if you just don't have any energy, it's not that fun. <laughs> you guys know what I'm talking about. Yeah, VR is for when you're feeling good. Yeah, I'm just not right now. So, uh, this is the best thing I'm going to do for you. Just to let you know, I'm still alive. Jane James is going to be around all 2022. Swearing. Saying shit. Pissing people off with controversial reviews. Yeah. I tell you. Ancient Dungeon was a game I reviewed. I didn't really be that impressed by it, honestly. I get why a lot of people like it, but... To be honest, I wasn't enamored by it. I, you know, I kind of gave that game a thumbs down. But a lot of people love that game. Didn't really sell to me, though, honestly, you know. And, you know, I stated my case in the video, okay. But a lot of people were sort of pissed off my, by, by my opinion of that game. Well, too fucking bad, all right. Because this is my fucking channel. I give my fucking opinions. If you don't like them, fuck off. Or better yet, just be like, yeah, I disagree. Because, hey, it's just a fucking opinion. What's the difference? Right? If I don't like a game, doesn't mean you like a bad game. Okay? A good game is a game that you like. That's it. I'm just sharing my opinions. You can agree with them or disagree with them. That's totally fine. It's not a big deal. Who cares? Don't worry about it. Just have fun. That's what we're here to do. Right? We're here to have fun. Play games. Shoot the shit. That's it. Yeah, you can agree or disagree with me. That's totally fine. That's what's in the rules, you guys. It totally is. Everyone should be doing themselves. You do you. That's exactly it. Don't worry. Yeah. We're all about being cool here. We're different. We're all different. We like different things in games. And that's why there's a selection of games. Right? It's not like this one game that, you know, you got to play. <laughs> but yeah, I didn't really like that game. Yeah. I thought the graphics were actually a little worse than Minecraft somehow. Like, if you've ever played Vivecraft... That's actually pretty impressive. I'm not going to lie. I might even sort of make a video on it though. But I kind of want to see that. Was it Cayube or some weird spelling out? I should really look this shit up. But I don't actually write scripts because I'm dyslexic. So I could never, ever remember a script. Right? I can't even remember a whole sentence. I can sort of remember a topic. But like following a script is something I'm just not capable of doing. So I always just talk right off the fucking cuff. I don't have a plan. I'm just like, hey, here's a video. I'm just going to fucking talk into the camera and see what happens. That's it. There's never anything. I, I try to remember a few topics I want to touch on. But for the most part, I actually just meander around aimlessly. Yeah, it'll make a lot of sense. That's fine. Yeah. We're all different. But we're all cool still, right? Anyway, yeah. Next year. Oh, dude. I do blah, blah, something I want to bitch about. Man, it kind of sucks that CS kind of isn't going to be a thing. Because Pimax's sponsor, or not sponsor, the booth they rented or some shit. It wasn't them, but 
somebody up the chain there of getting them to see us. That didn't go through, which means we're probably not going to see much on the 12K reality at CES. I know I'm so disappointed. In a way, right? In a way. Because it's, in some ways, I'm kind of like, I actually don't really care because I never thought for one second that there was actually going to be like a final, similar to final 12KR with any selection of the modules that I really cared about, right? Like I want the uh, index or Steam VR tracking faceplate. I want the full body tracking, the facial expression stuff. I think eye tracking is just built into it actually. So that's whatever. But there's a couple of those modules I was really interested in and they're probably not ready. Like right this instant. And those are kind of where the magic of the module or the headset is. It's not like they were going to be ready. So I'm really not that concerned. The thing's probably at least, I mean, it's close to a year from release before I can get one. So I'm not that concerned about nothing seeing, nothing happening in January with it. There'll be other stuff going on. It's a whole fucking year, you guys. Think how long this year was. Well, it's going to be like that next year, too. Yeah, same 365 days of who the fuck knows what. So it's disappointing we're not getting a demo. But at the same time, I got to say, I don't really give a shit. Not that much. I was kind of excited to see what they've got. But I wasn't really going to be basing too much on what I saw of a version of the headset a whole year from release you know what i'm saying so my expectations are already super tempered in that regard so like i said uh you know what in pimax i'll find some other ways of showing it off if they were really smart and super cool they'd send one to jame jame yeah they know she's a, a pimax fangirl that's right <laughs> yeah it's true whatever i love my 8kx okay deal with it like this weekend, I'm working the whole time. I can't get nothing to you guys. And Monday, Tuesday, I'm not going to promise I'm going to be feeling that great. Because it is going to be three 12-hour shifts in minus 40. I, you guys understand, all right? If I don't feel like doing a whole bunch of moving around after that shit, I'm probably not going to be unthawed until Tuesday at the very least, okay? I'm going to be like an icicle. So, yeah. But the weekend, though, next weekend will be a different story. There were for sure, if I don't produce something Monday, Tuesday, for sure the weekend, we'll get some cool game reviews. For sure, I'm going to be looking at Everslot. And I feel like there's something else too I wanted to look at. But I'm such a space cadet. I am such a space cadet. I can never remember what the fuck I'm doing. Yeah. Whatever. Hey, if you've been following me for a little while, then you're probably used to it. Game Game just shows up with some random shit. She doesn't fucking know. I find out what the hell I'm doing when I'm editing the videos. <laughs> that is actually closer to the truth than you'd, than you'd think, if I'm being honest with you. I do not remember much of what I've been talking about. Yet somehow I survived. Yeah, it's amazing, isn't it? Yeah, put the effort in. <laughs> Alright guys, listen, I'm not going to talk your ears off too long. Because I'm not really saying anything coherent anyway. Except that uh, I love you guys. I can't wait to see more of the stuff that's coming out next year. I really hope to see you guys come along. I hope to see new faces join. See if we can get more stuff going. I really want to do a lot more stuff with this channel. But I do need to grow a little bit first to sort of make the extra stuff I'd like to do worth the time and potentially money to make that happen. You guys feel me, right? You got to have at least a little bit of an audience before you start doing the crazy stuff. Hey, I'm not in a hurry. YouTube will never be how I make my money. Yeah, so don't worry about it. I'm not gonna sell out or no shit like that or join someone's insider program. <laughs> never gonna fucking happen, Mark Zuckerberg. Not a fucking chance, you douchebag. Actually, I shouldn't, you know, I should probably fit it. Ah, you know what, I'm not gonna fucking edit it out. Nobody likes the guy. <laughs> even though I don't even particularly hate him, there's just no way I like what's going on with Meta in a lot of ways. 
Yeah, I really don't like it. And they were fucking with Valve, and they bought some shit. And now who the fuck knows what's going on at the Deckard? Actually, maybe sadly it's Bradley. No, he seems to just kind of fucking know shit. Man, that guy's attention span seems to be incredibly long. What the hell? Yeah, he's a cool guy, actually. I really like Sally It's Bradley's videos. I mean, he's a bit of an odd duck, but... I feel like only an odd duck could actually go through that many patent videos. Like, a normal person would just go mad. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. There's actually a lot of cool people out there in the VR community. There actually really is. I don't want to, like, make a list of people I think are cool. You know, unless I also make a list of people I want to throw shade at, because actually there is a few. Yeah, there is a few. You know, I'm not going to say any names. Maybe people in an insider program. I don't know. I'm just talking out of my ass. <laughs> I better shut the fuck up. Holy shit, Jane Jane. You are one silly bitch. Okay, guys, I love you. And yeah, next year. Boom. I'll see you then. Have a great one. Bye-bye. Mwah.